right, Aaron, every time we have a guest on this show, we subject them to a game. Uh oh. Would you like to play a game? <laughs> yeah, though I formally object to the creepy voice in which you asked me that. Yes. <laughs> Formal objection noted, shan't happen again. So, our game is called Blank or a Black Hole. And what we want to know, Aaron, is, and we'll go back and forth asking you questions with some softball ones to start off, and then yeah. we'll get into some like real nitty gritty. We want to know what is stronger, blank or a black hole? <laughs> Love it. But with a caveat here that I need to clarify when we're answering these, just to get touch the little science a little bit, a black hole doesn't suck up things like a vacuum. It's just a very deep gravity well. So right, yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah. Just oh, yes. making that clear. Notice how we used the term stronger because it could mean a lot of different <laughs> oh, things. Oh, yeah. Noted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So I'll start us out. Uh, this, this is a low ball, right? Which of these is stronger, a ham sandwich or a black hole? <laughs> Right? Uh, I will have to say a black hole for okay. this one. Okay, cool. So the next one, we're just gonna step it up a little bit. Uh, it's not crazy, but uh, I think I'd already know the answer to this. A big rock or a black hole. Probably like a really big- <laughs> like, like a really like big so rock. Like so big that like I can't, I can't hug it. We can't really hold it. Really big rock. Yeah. The gotcha. size of like a dump truck or higher. <laughs> I would have to go with black hole again, because if you're stuck between a black hole and a very big hard rock, then I'm still, the black hole's going to get you every okay. time. Okay. Okay. All fair, right. Fair, fair, fair. Am I playing this right? Yeah. You were yeah, playing you, this 100% right. This is better than the last guest who we asked to define whether items of food were a soup or a sandwich. <laughs> Carolina Ravasa, I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> what about The Rock? Like Dwayne The Rock Johnson, right? Oh. He's like... He's got to be one of the strongest people. We're talking about the attractive magnetism that may exist with a black hole in Dwayne The Rock Johnson. <laughs> I, yep. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. That's probably a tie. I mean, oh! we'd have to, we'd have to uh, assess the mass of the black hole with which we speak, but I'd say he's got a pretty yeah. deep gravity well. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yes. I feel like if I were caught within that gravity well, I might not try to escape. <laughs> there we go. We're going to come come back down from the gravitational magnitude of the people's champion. Uh, <laughs> let's let's go here. Let's just do another one, but this is a little bit more sciencey. Light or a black hole? Ooh, well, that one, scientifically, light loses. <laughs> yeah. So I got I got one. I got one. Which is stronger? Hope. Or a black oh. hole. I mean, my deep Star Wars rebellion side is always going to say that hope wins. Um, rebellions are built on hope. Rebellions are not built on black holes. <laughs> but maybe they'd be more effective if they were thinking face emoji. So the next one is similar, but I think a lot simpler, maybe. Um, so what is stronger? The indomitable curiosity of the human spirit to explore the stars in search of life's meaning or a black hole? <laughs> <laughs> um, my faith in humanity right now is in the toilet, so I'm going with a black hole. Okay, uh, all right, boom. We've touched on many areas of science and pop culture, but what about something that truly transcends that? What about an immortal being? What about Keanu Reeves or a black hole? My feelings about Keanu Reeves have gone on a journey, is all I want. Right? <laughs> I try and live each day as if Keanu would take me away in a magical police box to do some yeah. kind of Doctor Who ripoff in an American style. I mean, obviously Keanu Reeves. Obviously, okay. I'm speechless. Okay. I'm left speechless trying to come up with ways that Keanu Reeves can compete with a black hole. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. obviously. Our final one, which I don't know if it's our tamest one or the most ridiculous one or the one that you can actually mold to your will the most yes. what is stronger a black hole or a black hole <laughs> oh yes dr aaron how does that work <laughs> i have an answer i can teach you things so i did my phd and further research uh, with the ligo scientific collaboration which was trying to detect gravitational waves from colliding black holes which is objectively awesome i left in 2014 in 2015 they made a nobel prize winning discovery of gravitational waves from two colliding black holes i'm fine i'm not bitter <laughs> no but basically what happens is, is that as two black holes 
collide, they essentially radiate these gravitational waves as if you had two like pebbles in water. And when they merge, they send out this huge burst of gravitational waves. Basically, space time itself is doing that. And then they merge and become an even greater black hole. So take from that philosophically what you will. So the score's in. And even though I did count Keanu Reeves for two points, uh, the black holes still do win what is stronger, blank or a black hole, with some very notable exceptions, that being of hope, Dwayne The Rock Johnson and Keanu Reeves. Aaron, thank you so much for joining us and having breakfast with us and placating our childlike wonder of all the things you know. We explored some pretty deep feelings. 